Welcome back everyone to Hearts of Iron 4 with the Millennium Dawn mod. And yeah, we have some problems. We're just justifying and it's gonna take forever, that's why. They're getting military industry. So it's best that we kill them now before they get more weapons. That's at least one good way to put it. Then you two are getting all of your stuff done. Now you're gonna be trained up. And you're gonna be sent off. Hopefully, oh, right, Alexandria is not under our control, nor is Cairo actually. So we're gonna have a fairly annoying time supplying our troops actually, it would seem, because we lack the ports, but I guess it's fine because it's Hearts of Iron 4. So supply doesn't really matter. That's Navy focus. Good, 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 good. Destroyers focus. They're light and bristle. Um, is that what we want? Yeah, I think so. If not, we wouldn't have been getting that in the first place. Then you're coming in and you're gonna be... Yeah. You're gonna be on your way. Turkey cancelled the lend lease. Interesting how all the people who want to join my faction are in NATO. I wonder why strategic reasons, opinion, friendly, and you hate Iraq, right? So it's partially because we have a common enemy, partially because they have strategic reasons. That's probably because we are in a war against the same person. Yes, it would seem like everybody else really doesn't want that too much. Should be moving into the Balkans soon. Have these people been building up armies? It looks like so. So it might be pretty hard. British special treatment. European location of this country is under constant political attacks from British politicians. Really? What did you do? What did you do, Britain? Go of Europe, strengthen NATO, board compromise, security first. I do not really understand. Careful cooperation? Maybe. Yeah. So they're going with something that can bring them on over to Union of Nations. So they might be annoying for Germany. Who knows? They're going with befriend the Alpine states. Where is that? So they're getting friendly relations with other people. And technically, they got friendly relations with us as well, if they got that. With Britain, befriend Russia. Interesting. And then, freedom, European freedom. So yes, they still have the option of going with the one Europe and then uniting. But that's very far away. We don't really have to worry about that. Well, look at that. Plus 200. So apparently we like the Germans a lot. Key point bombing. Great. That's all of the air doctrines. Perfect. That took a while, but it's good to have it finished. Um, we could go with the UCAV, or we could go with some extra engineering. Yes, nuclear reactor first, and then some other stuff. Still have resistance to occupation in northern Egypt. So Cairo and Sinai. Huh. Um, how would you look on suppression? Suppression, suppression, nine. Right, that's a little bit too much. I'm gonna have to work towards getting some suppression underway. What would you look at that? Okay. So what could we do with you? Research and production. We could go with Otomelara. All around tank designer. Then we have a medium tank designer. Who looks to be the same. And then another all-around BAE systems. Then you are a heavy tank designer, so for armor instead of reliability... Oh, that's soft attack, okay. Yes, the main problem with this is that 
We might eventually go to war with Germany. So I really have to go with my all-around designer, Otomelara. Then for ship... In fact, I should have gone for ship designer first. And get the Marina Militare. But, oh well. Then you have aircraft. We have naval aircraft. Which is not that great. Or, well, it would be really good. Wait, what? Are you being lost in accidents? Because I remember you being pretty much a little bit higher than 16. Yes, it appears we have been losing people in accidents. Yep, I thought they fixed that. Wait, hold on. No, that might have been because... No, no, no. Accident loss is 28. Okay, no, no, I know why. It's because... Also, what the fuck is that reliability? 28 losses in accidents? I just had my fighters hover over here and... Uh, hover over here in Sudan to prepare for the invasion. And that's ridiculous, like... Two months? No, four months. We lost 33 fighters to accidents. That's pretty insane. Like, what's the reliability on my planes again? Also, Generation 2 APC. Uh, Generation 3 light tank, that's fine. Multi roll. It's supposed to be pretty high. And I don't have a lot of air experience. So I can only increase it by 8%. And I'm guessing that over 100%. Over 100% it's gonna be reducing it to zero, I hope? Who knows? Who knows? We'll be having to look at that later, once we actually have planes. You're also starting to get planes, which is good. Close air supports are indeed waiting for orders. The Eritrean Air Force appears to not exist anymore. Uh, they've been getting attacked by the NATO coalition, so it does make sense that they don't have an air force anymore. Not sure if they ever had one. Well, they did have one at one point, but it appears like it isn't there anymore. You are indeed here, so you're going to get redeployed to where you're going to be useful. And our conquering of the Sudanese desert is going to be up and available very, very soon. Another light mechanized division. Perfect. Okay, now I think I can... No, I cannot. Wow. 2,000 anti-tank. Yeah, I can... I can kind of reduce that. 2,000 units of anti-tank. I did not expect that much. Interesting. So my fleet's also growing a little bit. We have 12 cruisers and 7 carriers. So at least we have that under our control. You're still around and you're still bad. You have some Albanian rifles, which is interesting. But overall, it seems like everybody's doing fairly well. We have you and you. Wait. I thought that my mod would change the icon for that. That's sad. Okay, perfect. Sunni's Desert. Go. We're going to call our non-existent allies again. And you're going to... Wait, what? Hold on. Never mind, it said a very weird thing in the declaration of war screen. So you're going to be probably called into the alliance with Eritrea and Iraq. 
but that does not matter all that much. We are going to make sure that we defeat it. Now, the main problem right now is the Nile kind of surrounding Khartoum. Khartoum has rivers on both of its flanks. So the battle for the capital is not going to be that easy in Sudan. Now, we're going to have you and half of you go there. Then half of you and you do this, then you do this, then you do this. And then you do this. And we're going to speed four. The Sudanese do have an air force, but our own air force is not fit. So we're going to wait. Our light mechanized is doing fairly well. It's everyone else that isn't in this battle. Uh, mostly because there's a river. Oh, look at that. The Kachisha model. Wow. That, um, I don't think I've ever seen that. That's ridiculous. Still, they're going to go down eventually. As you can see, their organization is not really holding up. Although, their own organization is not going all that well. Wait, what? Okay, so the Sudanese Navy attempted to sally out. I didn't even know they have the Navy. In fact, they do have a naval base, which I did not expect. We're going to use our close air supports to soften up, soften up the enemy as much as possible. And indeed, they are attempting to move into Libya, but that's not a good idea. As we know from Egypt's adventures, that is not the best idea they could, they could have. Generation 2 mechanized, great. We do have a bit of a research bonus on advanced generation 3 main battle tanks, so let's research that along with the fact that we have our design company for it, so it's going to be a little bit stronger. It's going to be receiving those lovely bonuses, and wow, that's a lot of steel that we need for the modern generation 2 IFV, but it's a price that we're willing to play because they're going to be good. Turkey appears to be starting up their own military production, so they can't trade us steel. Let's get it from France instead. Excellent. So we have our first breakthrough and we're going to be continuing down south towards Khartoum with this motorized group. How's the air war going? We appear to have destroyed... No, there's nothing. They're not using their air force or maybe this is just the intelligence screwing up, which is both possible. Although we, all, we have all the intelligence techs, so we, it shouldn't really be screwing up, but still. Uh, our Air Force is doing hopefully fairly well in supporting our ground forces. Looks like it, partially. Okay, now our men are advancing and they're taking counterattacks but holding strong. Uh, destroyer. So you're still fighting the Sudanese Navy. There's still so many ships out there, but the combination of our cruisers and our planes will make short work them. And here we're just moving on with our forces. Now we have the opportunity to cut off the enemy uh, division that's been marching through the desert. You're going to be standing here. Do not move into places where you do not want to move. And then you continue your advance like this. You get across the river and you move down trying to surround the two mechanized brigades that are continuing to put up resistance at the front. And that's going to be the end of that. Then, uh, for national focuses, submarines. Submarines should be okay, although we're not really researching or building any so far. They're going to be very useful soon. Okay, perfect. Finally, we managed to achieve a breakthrough, and we're going to push on forward, trying to cross the Nile, hopefully. The main problem seems to be that they're counterattacking all of our pushes. That's not exactly what I wanted to see. Also, our AI is stupid. 
I do not want you to garrison the desert. You idiot. Stop being retarded. Okay. Now the problem is we're starting to lose much equipment due to the attrition of the desert and ooh. Transnistria. Sure. Smirnov. I guess so? Who knows? Um, African Coalition of Muslims. Yes. That is exactly what I thought this faction would sound. Wait, what? This is the faction map mode? Oh, cause, right, okay, 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 never mind. That white color is the color of that faction. But wait, what? I don't understand. Oh well. Uh, did anyone join your faction? No. That's pretty weak. Well, I suppose... No, not even you. Not even Hong Kong and Macau. Ooh, well. Yes, really the main problem is attrition. Now, I don't have the DLC, so it doesn't really show me what I'm losing to attrition. But, um... It should be fine. Yes, from combat it does not appear like we've lost too much, but yes again, equipment losses not shown to me because they don't have the DLC. Thanks, Paradox. Okay, so the push towards the capital is still going on. It's having a pretty good time. Okay, worker strikes. This will probably fix itself. Then you're gonna make a bit of a flanky move there. And you're gonna try to continue moving south. I wonder what their national unit is. 90%, of course. So it's gonna be very, very rough to capitulate them. We're gonna need to take basically all of their VPs, aka... We're gonna need to take their states. Um, this isn't going to be as easy as I would like it to. Although in the center we're just smashing through their not very well equipped units. And for some reason my mountain units are being redeployed off the mountains. Because that's how warfare works. Then you're going to try to cross the river before they do. And you two are going to fix this mechanized, the Northern Brigade. Uh, you're not going to be able to succeed in that endeavor, so stop. Focus on the defense. He's surrounded and almost dead, so you're going to finish him off before he decides to be any more annoying. You're going to stay there. You're going to move into Eritrea. Well, near Eritrea, because that's going to open the border with them. The Ariete is still training up, but they're... Oh. What? Why does it show that the strength bar is 73% when you're only waiting for 10 infantry equipment and 2 support equipment? What? That's a little ridiculous. Okay. You're also going to be redeployed into the area of battle. And now you have a chance of attacking him. We're also going to try to push towards Khartoum. They're going to try to stop us, but they don't have the required strength to do so. So we're going to be able to easily smash through them. Perfect. <laughs> I 
I love the AI. It just got to its destination and then the AI decides that it's best that it sends it somewhere else. Because that's how it works. Okay, that should be fine. Now we are at the gates of their capital. We're going to try to cross the Nile and storm it. Looks like it's going to succeed because it's only very light forces that are trying to hold us back. And then the enemy navy appears to be trying things, but it's not working. And our air force has been completely demolished. By what? Accident losses. Accident losses. Okay. Um, yes, there's definitely something wrong with that. There's absolutely something wrong with that. Also because we have all of our air doctrines fully researched, so we should have even less accident losses than normal. But, oh well. Okay, Khartoum appears to be under our control. Perfect. Now we just need to push down towards South Sudan and Central Sudan to finish off their remaining VPs. The Eritreans appear to be pushing. However, they appear to have problems. Denmark landed on their shores. So they're not going to have an easy time. And Denmark actually captured their capital, Asmara. So it looks like NATO is actually going to prevail against Eritrea, which is pretty hilarious. Although Eritrea is just pushing really hard and we can't seem to stop them somehow. It appears like some of our troops lack anti-tank. So let's make sure that everybody has anti-tank. Not you. You don't have anti-tank, that's not a good idea. I think Recon Company is the least useful of these. Good. Do we have enough anti-tanks for that? Hopefully so. Yes. Uh, oh, okay. So there goes Eritrea somehow. Giving us... Well, a fair amount of battle tanks. A lot of support equipment, which is actually very useful. Some convoys. Some anti-tank. And no aircraft, which is very unfortunate. Now that's kind of annoying because I was, you know, uh, looking to take Eritrea for my own. But it appears like NATO decided to ruin my plans, as it may. So right now we're just going to focus on Sudan. There goes Eritrea. We're going to grab it first things first. Now there's also, we appear to have the highest score, but also Turkey. Turkey seems to have pushed into Iraq. And then Alexandria, we can't take Alexandria, so maybe Northern Sinai? Nope. Nope, nothing in Egypt. Okay, so they puppeted Iraq, they puppeted Tur Kurdistan, and actually Turkey puppeted those. Which is pretty funny. So Turkey, getting a lot of stuff off. Uh, I think that controls the canal now, does it? So we're gonna focus on that. And they puppeted Egypt? What? Hold on, what? What happened to Egypt? Oh yes, it did get puppeted by Turkey, which is pretty funny. Do we have the canal?
Well, I am one of the controllers. Which isn't good enough. I need to be the only controller. But I guess it's okay. Could be worse. Then you're now exiled. Okay. Run to Port Said, please. And you're all still fighting... Sudan and wait what Afghanistan <laughs> sure so Afghanistan wants to kill us but when has Afghanistan not wanted to kill someone I do not know never and that's the last land auction so both the air and land auctions have been fully done and done could get improved artillery upgrade or improved anti-tank improved anti-tank first Then I think we can surround these two enemy troops fairly easily. Perfect. Finish them off as quickly as possible. And they somehow retook their capital because somebody decided to abandon it. Which was not a good idea. Where are you exactly going? Why are you doing that? No, don't. Where are you both going? No, stop. Don't do that. No. Yes. No. Oh, the Turkish mandate of Iraq. That's interesting. The Turkish Mandate of Iraq. And they still have all of the Iraqi parties and they're now Social Democrat, right? Because you're also Social Democrat. Kurdistan. Marcus Taylor. And then Mansoor. Interesting. So at least we still have a bit of a supply line through the Libyan Desert. Somehow that allows us to maintain an army in the middle of nowhere. Where are you going? Where are you going? There's nobody there. Perfect. And you're going to try to flank. Flank south. into hopefully Juba. No. Don't want you moving across the river. That would be pretty bad. That would not be a good idea at all. However, appears like we can take the capital quite easily because they abandoned it. Because they're smart. That a mountain? No. Plains. So why are you having trouble? River. Where are you seeing a river crossing? Oh, because it's... Jesus. It's hidden by the front line. Of course. Of course it is. So the river crossing was hidden by the front line. But now, thankfully, appears to not be hidden by that anymore. Okay. So, we are going to surround the remnants of their army in the northern areas, and we're going to destroy it quite easily. And you're going to continue south. Get your Katusha rockets across the river. That's still a pretty funny animation. They spent more time making that than probably they did making the diplomacy system, which is pretty interesting. Or the AI. I am absolutely certain 
Well, no, 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 never mind. Let's not be that much of a dick. I'm sure they spent a lot of time on the AI. It's just that it wasn't time well spent, it would seem. Okay, so now we need Navy Designer. And then you're still holding out by the capital because somebody on my stupid, stupid military decided that it was a good idea to let that go. Instead of finishing off the enemy. Okay, perfect. There goes the last of their army in the south. Carrier focus. Pretty good. Pretty worth. You're gonna take Juba. At least I think that's Juba. Yes, it is Juba. And then you're all gonna go and gather up for the final assault. Need more steel? Really? How much steel are we using? Ridiculous. Using... Wow. So apparently we need 200 steel for our production lines. That's pretty ridiculous. I guess we can also bring in the armor for the final assault. Oh wait, no we can't. <laughs> we actually can't, because we need to bring it on over to the naval base. So final assault in progress. Just going to be attacking from as many different places as possible. Why cannot... Oh, because you're defending. Makes sense. Just to make sure that they can't send in reinforcements anywhere. From anywhere. And there they go, finally. They gave us quite a lot of artillery, for which I am grateful, but other than that, not really anything worth too much. I mean, some infantry equipment, but that's really not a lot. And you're still fighting because... Who's the major country here? Finally, good. Fought so. And I cannot... Really? Okay, I was worried for a second that Turkey would puppet them. Good. Not sure how Turkey got war score against them, but I guess it did. Okay, next time, Ethiopia. I'll see you then.